Hello. Just a, a quick vlog tonight while Daryl's in the shower. Um, yesterday was a bit of a good. It was a good day. Don't get me wrong. I went to a, a like a bonfire winter fair with Gemma and the girls. Um, it, it was nice. Um, bought myself some candle wax melts. Um, and you bought us all some stuff and, and bought some um, pillowcases for Christmas time. They're beautiful. Um, and then we went to a fireworks display, so that was nice. Um, we came back and we did some fireworks at home here. But then it started getting really bad weather, so we kind of kept them for tonight. Um, I had another bad night last night. Really, to the point where it was eight o'clock this morning, I finally shut my eyes properly and finally got my head down. And saying that, I still had a bad dream. Now you can laugh as much as you want now, and I think some of you will, and I don't blame you. Um, I was getting chased by clowns, and they were forcing me into a coffin, basically telling me that I'd died of cancer. And uh, yeah, I suppose these are normal nightmares to be having um, you know completely normal nightmares sorry just that? yeah completely normal oh okay sorry I was just looking at something yeah, I know they're not normal, don't get me wrong, but obviously normal-ish. <sighs> but they're not nice. Now, if anyone knows me knows I'm shit scared of clowns. You know, I don't like them. But it's not nice. They were basically chasing me to put me in my coffin. But it was nice. I spent most of the like late night, early, early like morning, sick dawn like time, speaking to my brother, big brother. It was nice to have a bit of a catch up with him. Yeah, it was nice to have a bit of a catch up with him, have a talk. You know, I was um, telling him what I'm going through a bit, and basically helping me through it. Um, and then today, we went to town, just a little bit of shopping, just basically to get me out the house. And then I did the girls' hot dogs in good old-fashioned bonfire night. They had hot dogs for tea yesterday, but they had hot dogs for tea tonight, but they had um, chocolate fudge cake and custard to go with it as a pudding as well. But they enjoyed it, and Aria enjoyed the fireworks, she enjoyed playing with the sparklers. Um, she did get a bit fed up in the end, you know, and uh, she didn't want to be there anymore. Um, I've had a couple of falls today, unfortunately. I don't know what's up with me, but I keep on losing my balance and just falling. Now, I don't know if it's because my leg, my left leg is giving me trouble again, my left hip. Um... I keep on falling and, and losing my balance of my hip and um, yeah, just not doing too good. My low feelings, they're still there, obviously. But tonight I'm going to try and get myself to sleep better. You know, I'm going to, you know, Daryl, normally when Daryl gives me a back rub and plays with my hair, that normally sets me straight off to sleep. And then tomorrow I'm meeting my mum, because it's my birthday next Sunday, and she's buying me some jumpers ready for winter. So that'll be nice just to get out the house. Um, I can't explain about my low moods at the moment. It's not nice. And like people might say, why is she putting that on her blogs? Like I explained, I'll give you the ins and outs before, during and after my cancer treatment. 
I keep on, I, I feel like I'm suffering a bit um, after all of it. It feels like now it's hitting me, um, which is not good. I'm actually going to phone someone tomorrow and speak to them, see if I can get some answers off them. Because as much as my doctors can be helpful, yes, everything can't be excused by it's because you had cancer treatment. It's because of this, because of that. You know, there should be some other answers for it. Some other answers for the reason why when I let wind go, when I fart, I'm in agony. You know, there must be some explanation for that. But tomorrow I'm all on my lonesome with the girls. Daryl's back in work tomorrow morning. So I have to get a good night's sleep tonight. If I don't sleep tonight, then I'm buggered. I am literally buggered. Um, yeah, I'll be pretty much not doing good tomorrow. Um, but he finishes early. I think he finishes like at half four or five, something like that. So it's not too bad. Um, I have considered it and I am going to be taking counselling as well. I'm going to go and speak to my doctor tomorrow and say that. I'm, well, I'm going to speak to someone first and see what they have to say. And then I'll speak to my doctor. Um, so, uh, right, as we speak, I'm in the middle of a hot flush as well as having really bad abdominal cramps. They're really horrid. No, I'm not one to whinge, and you guys know, my true friend, my friends, will know I'm not one to whinge. I just plod on with things. Chin up, plod on, go on. But even this is upsetting me and taking me down. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, give it a week. If I'm still feeling pain-wise the same, I think I might go back to my oncologist. And have a word but I'm seeing seeing them seeing her at the end of November but I don't think even I can wait that long you know I need some answers so but one of my friends Lisa said with the way I'm feeling right now I am um, to um, give myself things to look forward to so I love it I can always this goes for any of my friends, but I've always been that little bit closer to Lisa. Um, she said that we'll go walking and I'll have basically someone to talk to. And I can always, always rely on her to give me support emotionally, physically, mentally. I can always rely on her. To, I'm just doing a blog. I can always rely on her to give me that support as a friend and... Yeah, you know, once again I've hit rock bottom and she's there, mental support, giving me ideas, helping me, giving me um, positive things to do. Do you want to crack the window open a bit? Because it's absolutely steaming in here. Mr Ward's just got out of the shower, all squeaky clean, ready for Monday morning. Have you put a new cable on that? Yeah. I thought you had. Mr. Ward and his cables. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and speak to someone in the hospital tomorrow, see what they can give me any advice. Then uh, phone my doctors. Um, like I said, it's just a short catch up video tonight, saying what's been happening in the past uh, couple of days. Hello. Um, another thing that really gets to me, really oh, kind of upsets me. <laughs> well, hello, Odin. Oh, he's like, no. He's like, no, mommy's got, mommy's got the blog going. I need to be with my mommy. To be honest, I actually sleep better when Odin's on the bed. As I was saying before I jump up, my 
my feet get really cold. But they're not cold to touch. No, they're not cold to touch, no. No, you're pretty warm. No, my feet aren't cold to touch. But inside, oh, inside they're cold. And they're kind of numb, pins and needles numb. Um, yeah, so that's how that feels. So, like, I'm sat here right now in my half got shorts. Mind my fat belly, my shorts, my t shirt, and I've got no sun. Yeah, no socks. But I have to keep a pair of fluffy socks up here because you can guarantee in the middle of the night I'll wake up. I'll wake up. And my feet will be ice cold. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, annoying. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you be and uh, get some sleep myself, hopefully. If not, check my Snapchat out or my... Facebook and you'll know what kind of night I've had I normally get bored and post on there okay then so everyone have a good night have a good start to the week and remember be positive on Monday mornings I don't live by that rule you always find me ranting and shouting in my kitchen on a Monday morning demanding a cup of tea but try and be positive good night everyone